Hello guys, today I have something very exciting for you. Every beginner knows basic French verbs like aimer, parler, demander, voir. But did you know that mastering their reflexive versions like s'aimer, se parler, se demander, se voir, etc. is a very fast and easy way to expand your vocabulary in no time, guys. Yeah! So let's make a leap from A1 to B1 in one lesson. By mastering these reflexive versions, guys, of the basic beginner verbs, you'll be able to say much, much more and better understand French conversations. You can download the PDF of today's lesson from this QR code here, guys, or from the link below the video. Now let's start. Little reminder of how we conjugate reflexive verbs in French. If you know it, guys, you can skip this part and go to the next chapter. If not, let's take a few minutes to refresh. So how do you recognize a reflexive verb in French? French reflexive verbs come with a reflexive pronoun SE. For example, if you check for the verb to hurry in any dictionary, you will get SE DÉPÉCHER. And so you will discover that to hurry is a reflexive verb in French. It comes with SE, a reflexive pronoun which becomes S apostrophe, right, before a vowel. Like the first reflexive verb every French learner knows, s'appeler. Literally to be named, right? But used to say people's name. My name is, je m'appelle, right? Je m'appelle Lucie. My name is Lucie. That's how we say it in French. So, in terms of stems and endings, reflexive verbs follow general rules of conjugation. The only thing which is new here, guys, is this reflexive pronoun that we must conjugate according to our subject. Right? The reflexive pronoun SE. Let's take s'appeler, everyone knows, and compare it to its regular version, not reflexive, which is appeler, and which means to name or to call, to call or to name, or just to call someone. So this verb ends with ER and belongs to the first group of verbs, which we can also call regular verbs. They are all conjugated the same way, except aller, right? And by the way, guys, 95% of French verbs belong to this group. So let's take a look on both versions. As you can see, guys, the verb is conjugated the same way. Only on the right, we have our reflexive pronoun, which changes according to our subject, right? Let's read it together. So on the left, appeler Lucie, to call Lucie. J'appelle Lucie, tu appelles Lucie, ils, elles, on appelle Lucie. Nous appelons Lucie, vous appelez Lucie, ils, elles appellent Lucie. Everybody is calling Lucie. And on the right, s'appeler Lucie, so to be named Lucie. Je m'appelle Lucie, tu t'appelles Lucie, ils, elles, on s'appelle Lucie, nous nous appelons Lucie et Lucie, vous vous appelez Lucie, ils, elles s'appellent Lucie et Lucie, plural. So what do you need to know in order to be able to conjugate French reflexive verbs, guys? You just need to know how to conjugate the reflexive pronoun SE with each subject. As you can see, je, me, tu, te, il, elle, on, se, nous, nous, vous, vous, il, elle, se. And so me, te, se, lose the vowel E and become M apostrophe, T apostrophe, S apostrophe before a vowel. We don't say je me appelle, we say je m'appelle, not tu te appelles, tu t'appelles, etc. So you conjugate your verb as usual and you add the reflexive pronoun before, according to your subject. That's it. So let's move to our list of verbs, guys. Let's start with the easiest 10, which in their reflexive version express reciprocal action. I'm sure you know many of them already. Let's check. So we have 10 of them. The first one is s'aimer. So aimer is to like or to love. So s'aimer means to love or to like each other. For example, il s'aime beaucoup. Il s'aime beaucoup. On s'aime comme des frères. On s'aime comme des frères. So usually we say on to say nous, right? But you can say nous also. You can say nous nous aimons comme des frères. Same meaning. We love each other like brothers. Or on s'aime comme des frères. On s'aime comme des frères. Next one is se détester. So détester is to hate. Se détester is to hate each other. 
on se déteste, on se déteste. Il se déteste, il, elle se déteste. Next one, se parler. Every beginner knows parler, right? Je parle français. So, se parler, to talk to each other. For example, elle se parle tous les jours. Elle se parle tous les jours. On se parle souvent au téléphone. On se parle souvent au téléphone. Next one is se voir. So, voir is to see. Se voir, to see each other. But also to meet, guys, by the way. Not the first time, but to meet when you already know the person. For example, il se voit chaque weekend. Il se voit chaque weekend. On se voit demain. On se voit demain. If you want to say to someone, let's meet tomorrow, you can say, on se voit demain. On se voit demain. We meet tomorrow. Next one is se dire. So, dire, everybody knows. Dire, to say. Se dire, to say to each other. Ils se disent la vérité. Ils se disent la vérité. On se dit bonjour tous les matins. On se dit bonjour tous les matins. Next one, se comprendre. Comprendre, to understand, right? Se comprendre, to understand each other. On se comprend bien. On se comprend bien? You can also ask. Do we understand each other? On se comprend bien? On se comprend bien. We understand each other. Ils se comprennent sans parler. Ils se comprennent sans parler. Next one, se regarder. So, regarder to watch or to look at something, at someone. Se regarder to look at each other. For example, on se regarde dans les yeux. On se regarde dans les yeux. Ils se regardent avec admiration. Ils se regardent avec admiration. Next one is s'écrire. So, écrire, to write, you know. S'écrire is to write to each other. On s'écrit tous les mois. On s'écrit tous les mois. Ils s'écrivent des lettres. Ils s'écrivent des lettres. Next one is s'appeler. S'appeler is also a reflexive version of the verb appeler, to call. S'appeler, to call each other. So, we would say, ils s'appellent souvent. Ils s'appellent souvent. Also, you can say, on s'appelle demain. So basically, you catch up on the phone tomorrow. Ciao, on s'appelle. Salut, on s'appelle. And number 10, s'écouter. Écouter, to listen. Every beginner knows. So, s'écouter, to listen to each other. For example, il s'écoute attentivement. Il s'écoute attentivement. On s'écoute toujours avant de décider. On s'écoute toujours avant de décider. Guys, don't forget that you can download the PDF of today's lesson from the QR code here or from the link below the video. On continue. Keep watching, guys, if you want more of reflexive verbs. S'entendre. So, you know the verb entendre, to hear. We have écouter, which is to listen, and we have entendre, which is to hear. S'entendre means to get along. For example, ils s'entendent bien. Ils s'entendent bien. Je ne m'entends pas avec Lucie. Je m'entends pas avec Lucie. Next one is se trouver. Everybody knows trouver, to find. So, se trouver is to find ourselves or to be located. For example, you can say je me trouve à la bibliothèque. Je me trouve à la bibliothèque. So basically, it means je suis à la bibliothèque. Je suis à la bibliothèque. Je me trouve à la bibliothèque. Or another meaning is, for example, je me trouve en difficulté. Je me trouve en difficulté. Next one is se demander. Everybody knows demander to ask. So se demander is to wonder or to ask oneself, to ask yourself, to wonder. For example, il se demande s'il a fait le bon choix. Il se demande s'il a fait le bon choix. Je me demande où elle va. Je me demande où elle va. Je me demande pourquoi. Je me demande pourquoi. Next one, se dire. We have it again. Because not only it means to say to each other, reciprocal action, but it also means to say to oneself, to yourself. 
When we say je me dis, it means basically I think. For example, je me dis que je dois essayer. Je me dis que je dois essayer. We can also say je pense que je dois essayer. Je me dis que, basically, je pense que je dois essayer. But we say it all the time, guys. When you hear je me dis, or we can also say qu'est-ce que tu te dis? Qu'est-ce que tu te dis? Like, what do you think? What do you say to yourself? So basically, what do you think about that particular situation? We would say, qu'est-ce que tu te dis? What are your thoughts, basically, about it? Je me dis que tout est possible. Je me dis que tout est possible. Je me dis que c'est une bonne idée. Je me dis que c'est une bonne idée. Next one, guys. Once again, se voir. But not as a reciprocal action to see each other or to meet. But se voir is about yourself, like to see yourself. So when it's about ourselves, it means to see yourself doing something or becoming someone. Let me show you an example. For example, I can say, je me vois devenir médecin. Je me vois devenir médecin. Je me vois vivre à New York. Je me vois vivre à New York. Je me vois pas lui dire ça. Non, non, je me vois pas lui dire ça. So basically, it can mean like, no, I'm, I can't do that. I can't. Je me vois pas le faire. Je me vois pas le faire. Like, I wouldn't dare. I, 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 I can't imagine myself doing it. Something like this. Next one, guys, is se prendre. Prendre is to take. Every beginner knows prendre, right? Se prendre is basically se prendre pour quelqu'un. Se prendre pour quelqu'un. It means to think of yourself as someone. Let me show you an example. For example, you can say, il se prend pour un expert. Il se prend pour un expert. You can also say, pour qui tu te prends? Pour qui tu te prends? Pour qui tu te prends? Who do you think you are? Pour qui tu te prends? Elle se prend pour qui? Non, mais elle se prend pour qui? Elle se prend pour une star. Elle se prend pour une star. Next one is se passer. So, passer, everybody knows, to pass, right? Passer. Se passer is to happen. You might already have heard, guys. We say, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Also, we say, tout se passe bien. Tout se passe bien, tout va bien, tout se passe bien. Also, we can say, ça va bien se passer. Ça va bien se passer. Ne t'inquiète pas, ça va bien se passer. Ça va bien se passer. Next one is very nice, guys. Se mettre. Mettre is to put, right? Every beginner knows. Mettre, to put. Se mettre is basically to start. Yes, to start doing something. For example, you can say, il se met à pleuvoir. Il se met à pleuvoir. Je me mets à cuisiner. Je me mets à cuisiner. Next one is se laisser. So, laisser is to let. Se laisser is to let yourself. Elle se laisse emporter par la musique. Elle se laisse emporter par la musique. Il se laisse influencer facilement. Il se laisse influencer facilement. Next one, I think many of you might know, se sentir. Sentir is to feel or to smell, right? Se sentir is to feel yourself, guys. For example, you would say, je me sens fatigué. Je me sens fatigué. So, I feel myself tired. Because if you say, je sens, it means I feel something. Not yourself, but something. For example, you can say, je sens la fatigue. Je sens la fatigue. Je sens la fatigue venir. Je sens la fatigue venir. But je me sens fatigué. You see? Je sens something, but je me sens how you feel yourself. Je me sens fatigué. Je me sens malade. Je me sens prêt, etc. Next one is se permettre. Permettre is to allow. Se permettre is to allow yourself. So for example, il se permet de critiquer. Il se permet de critiquer. Je me permets de vous poser une question. Je me permets de vous poser une question. Next one is se montrer. So, montrer is to show. Se montrer is to show yourself, to prove to be. For example, elle se montre confiante. Elle se montre confiante. Also, 
in literal meaning. Elle se montre à la fenêtre. Elle se montre à la fenêtre. Next one is se croire. Croire is to think, to believe, right? We can say je crois, je crois que. I think, I believe, right? Se croire is to believe, to think yourself. To feel as if. You can say je me crois capable. Je me crois capable. Il se croit tout puissant. Il se croit tout puissant. Il se croit plus fort que moi. Il se croit plus fort que moi. How do you feel, guys? Write a comment with your favorite reflexive verb from today. Which one you would like to remember? Which one you would like to use? Which one you find the most useful? And feel free to download the PDF of the lesson, guys, from the QR code or from the link below the video.